Earth is bracing for another direct hit from a colossal geomagnetic storm tonight, and the stakes are higher than ever. Just last night, the planet witnessed the second of three predicted auroral waves crash into the atmosphere, painting skies with light as far south as Florida and Texas. But what's coming tonight promises to be an even more extreme spectacle. A fresh coronal mass ejection is forecast to collide with Earth tonight, and it's packing a punch potentially stronger than its predecessor. These cosmic tempests are rated on a scale from gone to G5, with gone being minor and G5 being extreme. Tonight's event is predicted to escalate to a G4 level, a very severe rating just one step below the most powerful type of geomagnetic storm. While these storms possess the power to wreak havoc scrambling GPS signals, triggering radio blackouts, and even surging through power grids, they also deliver a gift of incredible beauty, the Northern Lights. For context, a gone storm rarely pushes this celestial light show much further south than Canada. But the forecast is for a G4 storm, a force capable of driving the Northern Lights deep into states like Texas and Georgia. This isn't just a theory. Last night's G4 event proved it by unleashing one of the most stunning aurora displays in years. An intense curtain of glowing green and purple light cascaded across nearly the entire northern United States and the Midwest, with sightings confirmed in improbable locations like Texas, Florida, Tennessee, Iowa, and Nebraska. This incredible performance was fueled by a coronal mass ejection, also known as a CME. A CME is a massive eruption of charged solar particles that slammed into and strained our planet's magnetic field. Storms of this magnitude only happen a few times every decade, yet a repeat of last night's incredible display could happen again tonight. The expectation is for similar G4 conditions, once again pushing the aurora's reach toward Texas and Florida. However, the wild card is the potential for a G5 storm. A G5 event is the most extreme solar storm possible, and it would bring the northern lights directly overhead in parts of Texas and the southern United States. It could even make auroras visible on high-exposure cameras as far south as Mexico and the Florida Keys. This forecast will now break down exactly where you might see the auroras tonight. It will also dissect how local weather will fare, determining who actually gets viewing conditions for the show. Before examining the weather, it's crucial to outline the likely reach of the northern lights, based on the latest data from this approaching geomagnetic storm. Here is the most current forecast map, showing where the northern lights are expected. Any area shaded in pink is where overhead auroras are likely to be seen. This means the sky could be filled with vibrant green, purple, and red. That is the current forecast for tonight, assuming the geomagnetic storm holds at a G4. It could intensify to a G5 or weaken to a G3, but it is expected to remain within that powerful range. This prime viewing zone once again includes New England, the Midwest, and the Pacific Northwest. For those in the light green area, looking to the north should reveal at least some form of glow from the northern lights. Many in places like Texas, Tennessee, and even northern Georgia witnessed this last night, but it's important to remember that tonight's geomagnetic storm has the potential to be even stronger. A stronger storm means the possibility of seeing more colors, and perhaps even seeing the display more easily with the naked eye. The red line that stretches all the way down into the Gulf in central Florida represents the camera view line. Essentially, for those with a camera capable of a high exposure of around 10 seconds or longer, that is the region where it becomes possible to capture those northern lights on the northern horizon. Remember, for anyone in the United States hoping to see this phenomenon tonight, the best chance will be far away from cities and light pollution. A rural area, or an open field, is the absolute best place to be. This strategy guarantees a much higher chance of witnessing the northern lights tonight. It's also critical to understand that this forecast is dynamic and could change at any point today. The aurora's reach could extend even farther south, or it could retreat slightly to the north. Staying informed with the very latest updates is crucial for this major event. Now, let's shift focus to the viewing conditions for tonight's northern lights, starting with a look at the future radar for the rest of today. Over in the northeast, the situation is unfortunately complicated by a very weak low-pressure system situated northeast of the Great Lakes. This system will continue to generate snow and rain throughout the day today, and for many, it's the first snow of the season. Regrettably, this is probably the worst possible timing for a snowfall, as the heavy cloud cover means there is a low chance of seeing the northern lights tonight. Another area of concern tonight is the West Coast. A large storm system is moving in, set to produce significant rainfall that could lead to flooding, mostly beginning tomorrow. But for tonight, a great deal of that cloud cover is expected to reach the coastline. By about 10 o'clock tonight, Eastern Time, light snow and rain will continue across the Northeast, affecting Pennsylvania, New York, and nearly all of New England. So, for anyone in those areas, cloud cover appears highly likely. Last night, Michigan, Wisconsin, and Ohio were blanketed by clouds. 
Unfortunately, some of that lingering cloud cover is expected for these areas again, though it is not anticipated to be as widespread as last night. In just a moment, a detailed map will show exactly where that cloud cover line is projected to set up for tonight. Down in the southeast and all along the Gulf Coast, an exceptionally rare opportunity is unfolding. Seeing any kind of northern lights this far south is not common, but tonight, it is definitely in play. Furthermore, a high-pressure system currently over the Gulf will help to clear out the skies for most of the southeast tonight, which is fantastic news. The entire Great Plains region also looks promising for tonight in terms of being free from rain and snow. It appears that these areas are set for a very nice night of viewing. Now, let's focus more on the cloud cover for tonight, which will be the biggest troublemaker when it comes to watching the northern lights. The situation as of this morning looks like this. There is obviously a great deal of cloud cover across the northeast, stemming from that low-pressure system in Canada. Additionally, there is a ton of cloud cover along and just to the west of the Rocky Mountains. By later this afternoon and into the early evening, the cloud cover is not expected to improve along the west coast. Unfortunately, for those in the Pacific Northwest, there is a very low chance of being able to see anything. This is mainly because of a thick layer of low and mid-level cloud cover. That type of cloud cover tends to be much thicker and can make it far more difficult to see the northern lights. This was the problem last night, and it looks like it will happen again tonight. Arizona and the Four Corner states are also expected to have problems. For areas in the Midwest, the forecast is still a bit up in the air right now. It is likely that there will be at least some high-level clouds. What that essentially means is that very high, thin clouds will be in play. These are typically quite transparent, so it should still be possible to see the northern lights through them for most of the northern plains and the Midwest. So, it is not a complete lost cause at this point. Last night also featured some high clouds in some of these same areas, and that pattern is going to continue again tonight. The coverage of those clouds might be a little bit more dense, however. Back over in the southern plains, in places like Texas and Arkansas, and anywhere in the southeast, there are not many clouds in the forecast. Florida will see some high clouds, but Florida will probably struggle to see much tonight unless this storm becomes a very intense G5 event. Meanwhile, across the northeast, there will still be very low and mid-level clouds covering almost the entire sky across New England, New York, and parts of Pennsylvania. The forecast does suggest that there will be at least partly clear skies across Pennsylvania, Virginia, and as well as Ohio during this time frame, with Michigan and Wisconsin also having a similar chance. The outlook suggests most of these areas will be able to see the northern lights tonight. For many who were unable to see them last night, tonight should be a different story. There should be enough breaks in the clouds to at least catch some of the beautiful northern lights. And in the rare case that these northern lights last into Thursday morning, which is usually quite unlikely, there will still be plenty of cloud cover across the west coast just before sunrise. However, there could be some breaks across parts of Nevada, Utah, and perhaps even Montana. Despite a threatening blanket of clouds rolling across the Ohio Valley, there's a startling twist. Breaks in the sky are expected to reveal the stunning spectacle of the northern lights. The prime window to witness this celestial event is incredibly narrow, kicking off around 8 o'clock in the evening and vanishing by midnight. For anyone in the area, this is a clear signal to keep their eyes glued to the heavens.